So welcome to Startup Day. It's the end of March and time to get the engine running again. I haven't done much on the engine over the winter. If you've been watching the other videos, you'll see my main attention was with the brakes. So the engine should start as I left it in late October. Um, so first thing to do before we start is to unplug the coil because we need to turn it over a few times before we get it going. We had an oil change just before I laid it up for the winter, so the oil is new. Next thing to do is to get inside the car and crank it up. So the battery is reconnected and the car is in park. Let's put the key in and the choke is off. I'm going to turn the engine over for 10-15 seconds just to get the oil circulating around the engine. So here we go. Okay, we'll let it rest for half a minute or so and hopefully the new oil will go around and coat all the pistons and all the things that need lubricating inside the engine so we don't have some bad knocking and other nasty things happening. You can hear the clock ticking so that's a good sign. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, crank it up again and see if my oil pressure light goes out. Not yet, it's still on. So we'll give it a crank for another few seconds and uh, then we'll reconnect the coil and start the uh, startup procedure. Okay, so now the oil pressure light has gone out. So we've got some oil pressure, which is good. Now I just go back round to the front and reconnect the coil. I smell petrol. Oh, there's petrol. There's a petrol leak there. I can see some leakage of petrol. I can smell petrol. Petrol is coming out somewhere. So that will have to be fixed. Let's see. Down here, there's definitely a, a leak going on. So. I think we ought to have a look at that before we continue with the startup process. Okay, so I've taken it out and tightened up these ends because they do actually unscrew. And I've had a problem before where one has actually really unscrewed and fuel has come out of the top. So I've done them up quite tightly now. So hopefully we'll get nothing leaking out of the bottom. So let's check that's dry. Let's try again. That's dry now. I think it just worked its way loose because these threads, and this just screws on the top and the bottom, and it just worked loose. I think that's okay now. Okay, so hopefully that fuel issue has been sorted. Good to check these things before we get going. So. 
my oil pressure light has gone out, so we've got oil pressure in the car. The only worry now is that I flooded it and it won't start at all. Um, so I've reconnected the coil. Next thing I'm gonna turn it over without the choke. And then when the oil light goes out, if it comes back on again, I'll give a bit of choke and we'll get this party started. So here we go. And there we go. Okay, didn't keep the choke out long enough. No, there's no fuel coming out. I see it burning a bit of oil. It's smoking a bit out of there. I think that's just burning off brake fluid that I spilled on the manifold during the, the brake rebuild. So the choke's on. Give it a few minutes to warm up. We can't leave it on too long really because these flats are very close and they don't like me running the car in the garage. Very spongy brake pedal. I think we're going to be bleeding the brakes again. <laughs> <laughs> 